Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's Friday. That means that this should be an edition of Free Coaching Friday. You have, do you have your question ready? You going to be able to stump the coach? We'll see when we come back right after this. Don't go away. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start growing and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. And I can almost say that as fast as Brian, who does the legal disclaimers on the radio. Um... Good morning to all of you. It's been a long week. Here we are on Friday, about to head into the weekend. Before we do that, we've got time for a free coaching Friday. I have a topic in mind, but I want to answer your question. So if you have something you'd like for me to tackle today, by all means, drop it in the comment. Do so right now so that I have time to uh, to get to it. Hey, good morning. And also, speaking of the comments, you can do what Joe and Catherine have done whether you're watching live or on the replay. And look, for those of you that watch on the replay, thank you. I appreciate you just as much as I appreciate the folks who are here live. And I appreciate you leaving your comments. I see them when they come through. Try to reply to as many of them as possible. So thank you for doing that as well. All right. Uh, how do you know what I don't know so that I can know what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Abby, good morning to you as well. All right, so uh, this morning I gave a title, even though it's Free Coaching Friday, I threw a title out there, this topic that we've been talking about all week, about getting things, getting the goals accomplished that we set for ourselves. We're almost halfway through the year, and it is, so you should be halfway to your goals, right? Ish, halfway-ish. But even if you haven't set any goals for this year, it's still not too late. You can pick that ball up and run with it right now. But today I wanted to hit on, kind of address this idea of why it's so difficult to reach our goals. You know, I, I have several friends who will say, you know, at the beginning of the year, oh, no, I, 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 I don't do New Year's resolutions, never make them anyway. And that's true. A uh, stat that I've found this week, I think, 91, right at, not, right at 90%, we'll call it 90%. 90% of goals that are set, New Year's resolutions that are set, aren't ever realized. There's a lot of reasons for that. Some of it has to do with um, when we set them and whether we really mean them and how much thought we put into them. But here's the thing I wanted to tell you about why they're difficult. They're difficult for a reason, and it's a good reason, and it's a good thing that they are difficult. You've probably heard, you've if you're a parent, you've probably said, and if you're not, you've probably heard your parents say something along the lines of, um, you, you don't appreciate it if you don't pay for it. And, and it's pretty much that principle that's at play when we want our goals and our outcomes to be difficult. The things that we don't struggle for, the things that we don't put effort into, we don't appreciate. Or let me flip, let me flip that around a different way. I'm going to say the same thing. I'm just going to say it in a different way. The things that we struggle for and we put great effort into, the reward is much sweeter when we achieve that outcome. Right? It's much greater because we tried for it. If, and, and this is one of the reasons I am so against everybody getting a trophy, right? Aside from the fact, let's just set aside for a minute this whole idea that you have to teach kids how to win and lose because there's winning and losing that happens all the time. If everybody gets the same reward, then it's not special to anyone. If everybody gets a little trophy, yeah, let's throw it in the back seat. Can we get ice cream? No, nobody cares. But if you're the only one to get it, it's very special. And there's a reason to work hard for it. So 
So yes, I understand all the all the <laughs> all the challenges that go into outcomes and results being difficult, but there's also great reward that comes with it. All last week and all this week, we talked about you know risk and reward and where the winds hide and how you have to work for them. There's a reason for all of that. And the reason is because the greatest results hide behind the greatest difficulty. Randy Posh, fantastic book and even better video called The Last Lecture. Um, he said, one of the, the, the things that he said in there that I fall back on a lot is that the walls are not there to keep you out. The walls are there to make you prove how badly you want it. And I think that's why any great outcome, any great achievement is difficult. Make you prove how badly you want it. All right. So Catherine says, I feel like I have all the ingredients, but not sure how to mix them together to make the cake. So, uh, good. Thank you, Catherine. She said this week has definitely been helpful. I, and let me add, put this one up. Yeah, which means I'm going to have to... Take that one off so you can see it. All right. <clears throat> I feel like I have all the ingredients. Not sure how to mix them together to make the cake. So there's two ways to approach this. Number one, look for a recipe. That's pretty simple. When when we talk about coaching or mentorship or training, I kind of the default thing that a lot of people go to is, well, I need to go take a class. That's great if the people teaching the class know what they're talking about. I'm jaded, but I digress. Um, coaches and mentors are people who have been through the same or, or essentially similar trials that you're going through, and they can help with the recipe. The three that I tell people this all the time. Well, you know, when I'm talking with people about a coaching engagement and they ask, you know, something like, well, can I go find this out on my own? Is there a way I can do this on my own? Yeah, sure. You can go read and watch videos and take classes and spend 30 years learning how to do it. Or you can let me apply my experience to accelerate your results and give you some accountability to make sure that you're on the way. That's the value of, of any coach, not just me. Any coach should be able to do those three things. So you should ask them, what's your experience? How are you going to apply that to my problem? How will you accelerate my results and how will you hold me accountable? If they can't answer those three questions, not a good engagement. So that's option number one, find somebody with the recipe. The other option is just to try. If you have, I mean, obviously I'm not a good cook, but my bride is. And so she can look at something and say, mm, that's too much of that. I'm going to cut back on that a little bit. All of that comes from experience. She only knows that because she's tried it in the past and, it, and found out it was too much or too little of one ingredient. Try it. Try it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It doesn't work. Okay. Then try it again and try it again and keep trying until you get the result. I mean, this is the difficulty, right? And it's kind of like what I talked about yesterday. And I, I, I hope that um, that fit of transparency yesterday was, was meaningful for you guys and, and actually helpful. You, if you have all the pieces and all the pieces are on the table, the only thing you have left to do is the decision to go. I can sit here and plan a cross-country trip every left turn, right turn, bridge, pig trail, whatever. And I make no progress until I pull out of the driveway. And even with all the best planning, inevitably, there'll be a bridge out, a detour, an accident, flat tire, something's gonna happen. You just have to deal with it as it comes along. Perfect analogy for me to put to practice and definitely goes along with my understanding of what we all, that we all have to find our own way. I, you know, m me or any other coach, any other mentor can give you guidance and suggestions and say, this is what worked for me. And, and that's the, the applying experience, 
right? I had a great conversation with one of my coaching clients yesterday. It had nothing to do with business. It's just something else that was going on in life, and we were able to talk through it and come up with some strategies to deal with it. As it turns out, yes, it's something that I've dealt with in my life. But, you know, what's right for me might not be right for you. Well, I can tell you what I did, and you can gain, you can collect information. This is why I'm saying you can collect information ad infinitum and still not make any progress. Progress is movement. Movement toward a goal. You can plan a pretty picnic, but you can't predict the weather. That is awesome. I love that. But that's the first rap quote on <laughs> it might be. <laughs> I don't know. I might have snuck a couple of them in there, but that, boy, it's spot on, isn't it? You can plan a great picnic, picnic but you can't plan the weather. You just have to deal with it. And if you let, you know, the, the other thing, and then I'll, I'll end with this today. You know, very often we will sit back and say, well, I can't do this because of blank or because of this or because of that. If you are allowing something or someone else to block your progress, then you are necessarily saying that my success is dependent on that person or that thing and you are handing over control of your success to someone or something else. And for me personally, I have no desire to do that. Even if I fail, I want to fail of my own accord, not because somebody else pushed me down. So I just refuse to do that. If you won't let me do that, I'll do something else. Great story to go along with that, and that'll be the end for today. I The, the last full-time job I had, I, I I was tired of the role that I was doing. I wanted to do something else, so I came up with a role. I wrote up a, a job description. The, the, the whole project I wanted to work on, the results, why it would benefit the company, monetarily how it would benefit the company. And I presented it to my boss and his boss. And his boss said, well, what are you going to do if we don't let you do this? And I said, I'll go find something else to do because what I'm doing is not good for me. You know, how many people Maybe you have stayed in a job much longer than you needed to. Or maybe you're suffering through a job right now because it's the job. Well, I didn't like my job, so I changed it. I, I know that's not for everybody, but that's what I did. And I was much happier for it. And people looked at me like, what are you doing? Why, why, would, why would you tell them that? I'm like, why would I stay? I've been there a long time. Well, why would I stay doing something that I don't enjoy? Find the thing that brings you joy and do more of that. Right? Everything else, everything else will find its own way. Find the thing that brings you joy and do more of that. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Wait, let me see what Catherine said. I love to cook, and I often go to the pantry to see what I have and then search for a recipe that right with that ingredient that I can use so today I will look at my goals my abilities and my dreams and do the same with them what a great way to end the show you guys have a fantastic weekend this weekend get some rest relax rejuvenate and be ready to hit the ground running first thing Monday morning 7 a.m. right here for seven minutes in the morning I will talk to you then be sure to stay tuned on at this side yeah right there on Instagram Oh, I left the pre-recorded bug. Today is definitely not pre-recorded. Sorry about that. Um, be sure to stay tuned in on Instagram. See what's going on over the weekend. I'll be back here Monday. Oh, and one final thing. If you got any value out of today or this week's shows, I would appreciate it tremendously. If you'd give me the thumbs, the hearts, the likes, up the stars, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening. And if you happen to know one person who can benefit from this conversation or anything we've talked about this week, share that video with them. They'll appreciate you for it, and I will too. You guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you again on Monday. Take care.